Hello, Brian. Uh, this is Rita, your new landlord. We just signed the uh, leases together. I would like to make a suggestion. Why don't I feed Casper the ghost? Casper the ghost. Why don't I feed Casper? Okay? I'm willing to do it. I know how to take care of cats, change their litter box and all that jazz. I'm willing to do it for you while, while you and your roommate are out of town. Cat lover. Now, I hope I have the right young man. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Hello, Brian. This is Rita calling. Uh, you know what? I was just thinking, um, if you have any pots and pans, any pots and pans or a skillet, you know, um, I wouldn't mind accepting them. I'm not ashamed to tell you. I could use some more. Only the ones that you want to get rid of, Okay. Hello, Thomas. This is Rita. Uh, I was just thinking, if you're throwing out a paper shredder, before you throw it out, I will take it. Believe me, I will take it. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. Hello, Brian. This is Rita, the landlord. Uh, Brian, <clears throat> excuse me. You probably have seen it already. I don't know. A birdcage at the top of the stoop as you go in and out of the entrance at the top of the stoop. The reason being, I was nursing a baby pigeon who couldn't fly, all right? So I was nursing him, so he looked like he w was healing, so I released him this morning, okay? So just leave it there in the uh, corner in case the pigeon should want to come back. A young pi pigeon, like maybe a little teenager. Let's put it that way, a little teenager. Oh, and tell Thomas the same thing. Thank you. Yeah, hello, Brian. This is Rita again. I only wanted to know, how did you make out with the refrigerator? Were you able to shop around? Any luck? Because there is one place, you may have heard of it, PC Richard and Son. And their prices are good, very good, okay? That's all I wanted to know, Brian. Did you get a chance to go online or whatever, PC Richard and Son? This is the second leak we've had in our apartment. And this is the leak that I pointed out, well, this is the stain on the ceiling that I pointed out to the realtor. I had pointed out, oh, it looks like you've had a leak. Is, is that a problem? And she said no. You have no heat. Yeah. All right. I'll call, I'll get well, We want to be in the apartment whenever someone comes. We don't want anybody in there without our permission. Don't worry, I'm not going to steal anything, and neither is that poor man. What poor man? The plumber. Okay. He, he's not a thief. Okay. So when do you want me to call you? Uh, let me talk to Tom. He's in there. I'll give him a call when I get to work. I mean, what time do you want the plumber to come over? Maybe 5.30. Give me a call. Leave me a message. Okay. I, I will not be here at that time. Okay. Yeah, hello, Brian. This is Rita. Uh, Brian, I'm going to give you the plumber's uh, name, all right? His name is Jimmy. Look for him from your window, all right? He'll be coming around with the, um, the, what, his suitcase, his uh, attache case, okay? And look for him. All right, that's it. Thank you. Very, uh, thank you. Hello, Brian. This is Rita. I'm returning your call. Yes, Jimmy is coming around again. Poor guy, I'm telling you, he cannot keep up with all these boilers. You know, it's, you know, the beginning of fall, winter, whatever. You know, that uh, it came very early. Better late than never. That's what I always say. Hello, Brian. This is Rita. One more thing. Casper 
was crying. He's in there in the dark, total darkness. Are you sure that your friend is feeding Casper? I'm upset. I'm very upset for Casper. He was crying and crying. He's in total, total darkness. It's not fair that he should be in total darkness and crying, all right? And I hope that your friend is feeding Casper. I'm, I'm, I'm very upset, Brian, terribly upset. Hello, Thomas, this is Rita. I'm very angry. I'm holding your mail, all right? I have five envelopes here and I do not want to be responsible for your mail. I want it out of my possession. Now, somebody snuck back into the apartment. I wasn't born yesterday, all right? They refused to open the door, acting childish, like a spoiled brat, okay? I've had it now. All I want to do is leave the mail in your apartment with the person that's feeding the uh, Casper. Evidently, it's the cat sitter. I don't know, or it's you or, or Brian. I don't know. But I do not want to be held responsible with your mail, all right? Okay? I have nothing against the cat. That's why I prefer cats over people, all right? Casper is innocent. He's like all poor animals. But uh, I, I have important mail for you. Am I asking for the world? Hello, Brian. This is Rita. When you come home, okay, I have to ask you a question. Don't worry. Don't worry. Do not fret. <laughs> I'm not going to evict you. It has nothing to do with that. Hello, uh, Thomas. This is Rita. The reason I'm calling is if you have any garbage, would you mind putting it out now? Now, at 6.15. Don't wait till the morning because the garbage men come around very early in the morning. Good morning, Brian. It's Rita. It's 7.17 a.m. Tuesday morning. If you take a, a peek, a look from your window, your front window, look what they did to my garbage bags. Take a look. Somebody did, uh, messed up my garbage bags. They moved them almost on the other man's property next door to me. You see what they do to me? I hope you get this message before you leave for, for work. In fact, before you leave for work, straighten out the garbage bags for me. Hi, Thomas. This is Rita. When you come home, would you please come upstairs and knock on my door, please? Hi, Brian. It's Rita upstairs. Don't worry. Not to worry. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Hello, Brian. It's Rita. My little cat, Dolly. She needs to be medicated. She had all her teeth extracted, but it's difficult to medicate her. When you can, either one of you can just hold her for me with a towel, wrap the towel around her. Hello, Brian. This is Rita. Don't worry, everything is all right. The refrigerator is on and your food will be fine. Hello, Thomas, this is Rita. I left your message last night and you never got back to me. Hi, Brian, it's Rita upstairs. My God, I hope it's not too late. I don't know what time you go to bed. Hi, Thomas, this is Rita. After you leave the party, would you please come upstairs and knock on my door? Hello, Thomas, this is Rita. Hello, Brian, it's Rita. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Brian, this is your landlady. Hello, Thomas. This is Rita, again. I'm recording my message again. I don't know if the first one took. Just wanted to know when you're returning so I won't get scared. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. You can call me late, I stay up late. And let me know what day you are returning. This way I won't get scared.
Yes, Mr. Bolster, um, no, it is not acceptable for you to use uh, your security deposit as the last month's rent. Um, first of all, your lease prohibits it, all right? It's, a, it's absolutely prohibited by the lease. And two, that um, defeats the entire purpose of a security deposit. Um, I'm telling you, very frankly, the, the people right before you tried to do the same thing, and we sued them and won. And, um, uh, you know, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Bye-bye.